Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 9. In this video, the puzzle solving technique called X-Wing will be discussed. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. When looking for an X-Wing pattern, we will scan each row 1 through 9, and then we will scan each column 1 through 9. We are looking for a row that has only two cells having the current possible candidate. First, we consider all the cells having A1 as a possible candidate. We begin with the house making up row 1, but the row 1 house has three cells having a possible 1 candidate. We only need two cells having a possible 1 candidate to find the first half of an X-Wing. Next, we look at the house making up row 3. It has two cells having a 1 candidate. This could be the first half of an X-Wing. Now we have the first half of the X-Wing. We will continue scanning more rows further down the puzzle to look for the other half. In order to complete the X-Wing pattern, we are looking for another row further down the puzzle to match the two cells in row 3. The house making up row 5 has two cells with a possible 1 candidate, but this does not work because the two cells do not line up with the ones in row 3. The house making up row 8 is no good because it has three cells having a possible 1 candidate. Row 9 has the same problem as row 8. There are too many cells having a possible 1 candidate to complete the second half of the X-Wing pattern with row 3. So we can conclude there is no X-Wing matching up with row 3. We then move down to row 5 as a starting point. Row 5 has two cells having a 1 candidate, so this could be the first half of an X-Wing. But again, row 8 doesn't work because it has three cells, which is too many, and they are not in the correct position to line up with row 5. And again, the same thing for row 9. Too many cells, and they are not in the correct position to line up with row 5. So we can conclude row 5 is not part of an X-Wing. We could skip row 8 and row 9 because they have too many cells with a possible 1 candidate to make up an X-Wing. At this point, we start looking for an X-Wing with the house making up column 5. We start with column 5 because the previous columns either have no cells having a possible 1 candidate or they have too many to be the first half of an X-Wing. Column 5 has two cells with a possible 1 candidate, so it could be the first half of an X-Wing. We look at column 8 next. It has two cells with a possible 1 candidate, but the cells do not line up properly to create an X-Wing with the cells in column 5. We then look at column 9, and just like column 8, it has two cells having a possible 1 candidate, but they do not line up properly. Since the cells do not line up along the same rows with column 5 cells, this is not an X-Wing pattern. So at this point, we can conclude there are no X-Wing patterns using a 1 as a possible candidate. We now take a look at all the cells in the puzzle having a 2 as a possible candidate. We can skip rows 1 and 2 because they have too many cells with a 2 as a possible candidate. We start our focus by looking at the house making up row 3. The house making up row 3 has two cells having a 2 as a possible candidate, so this row could be the first half of an X-Wing. We now turn our focus to the house making up row 8 to see if we can find the other half of the X-Wing. And this time, we do find an X-Wing pattern in the puzzle, which is now highlighted in dark green. Before continuing, let's examine the logic of how the X-Wing works in eliminating possible candidates from cells in our puzzle. The cells outlined in black is why the X-Wing gets its name. The way the logic works is as follows. If there is a 2 in the cell on row 3, column 5, then there must be a 2 in the cell on row 8, column 9. This is because there must be at least one number 2 in the house making up row 8. And vice versa, if the 2 is in the cell on row 8, column 5, then there must be a 2 in the cell on row 3, column 9. This is because there must be at least one number 2 in the house making up row 3. The two sets of possibilities form an X pattern, hence the name. There are other implications by having an X wing. All the cells highlighted in light green have no possible two candidates, which is why we have an X wing. The X wing means possible twos have to occur in the set of two spots highlighted in dark green for both sets of rows and columns. Consider all the cells highlighted in light red. These red highlighted cells cannot have any possible two candidates because of the X-Wing number locations. 
We have identified several non-possible candidates that can be removed because of the X-Wing we now have highlighted. We remove the non-possible candidates. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. When looking for X-Wing patterns, we will scan each row 1 through 9 looking for pairs of cells in the same columns. After the rows, we scan each column 1 through 9 looking for pairs of cells in the same row for a particular candidate number. Here for this puzzle, all the cells having a possible 1 candidate have been highlighted. We've identified all the rows having only 2 cells with a possible 1 candidate along the row. None of the pairs match because the cells do not line up with the same columns, so there are no X-wings on the rows for this candidate. We are now showing all the columns having pairs of cells with a possible one candidates down the columns. None of the pairs match because the cells do not line up along the same rows, so there are no X-wings located in the columns for this candidate. For this puzzle, all the two candidates have been filled out. So next we will show all the cells having a possible three candidate are highlighted. We have identified two rows having two cells with possible two candidates along the row. None of the pairs match because the cells do not line up in the same columns, so there are no X-wings located in the rows for this candidate. We have identified three columns having a pair of cells with a two as a possible candidate. This time we find an X-Wing in column 1 and column 4 for the cells having a possible 3 candidate. As before, we have highlighted the cells in light red that cannot have any possible 3 candidates because of the X-Wing logic. We have identified 5 possible 3 candidates that can be removed from the puzzle. We remove the non-possible candidates. As a result of applying the X-Wing logic to remove possible three candidates, we discover a naked single on row 4, column 3, highlighted in purple. We choose the value for the cell. Before we begin testing, please make sure to click on the link below and make a generous donation so we can continue making DX Sudoku videos. Time to test what you have learned. Consider this Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the X-Wing with the possible candidate currently highlighted. Here is the X-Wing that was hidden and the possible candidates that can be removed. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the X-Wing with the possible candidate currently highlighted. Here is the X-Wing that was hidden and the possible candidates that can be removed. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the X-Wing with the possible candidate currently highlighted. Here is the X-Wing that was hidden and the possible candidates that can be removed. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the X-Wing with the possible candidate currently highlighted. Here is the X-Wing that was hidden and the possible candidates that can be removed. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the X-Wing with the possible candidate currently highlighted. Here is the X-Wing that was hidden and the possible candidates that can be removed. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the X-Wing with the possible candidate currently highlighted. Here is the X-Wing that was hidden and the possible candidates that can be removed. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and find the X-Wing with the possible candidate currently highlighted. Here is the X-Wing that was hidden and the possible candidates that can be removed. Please support DX Sudoku so we can continue making DX Sudoku training videos. To make a donation, click on the DX Sudoku channel link below. Then click on the Donate to DX Sudoku button to make a donation with PayPal or credit card. Thank you for your generous donation and support. This completes DX Sudoku training video number 9. 
Thank you for watching.